Hi guys, it's Alicia here, welcome to my channel. So, yesterday I asked you on Instagram to send some of your works to me so I can give some advice and correct some of your mistakes. Because honestly, you have been asking for this video like crazy. So, here I am. Before we begin though, a little disclaimer that I am self-taught and everything I'm going to say and do and correct is from my own experience, it's not professional. I didn't learn it from professional techniques or anything. So if you know better, you know better. Today we are going to review five drawings. I got like 100 of DMs with your work sent to me. And of course I couldn't include all of them. So if you are not included in this video, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and share it everywhere you can. So you will have a chance to be included in the next video. So the first four drawing will get only some minor corrections of the biggest mistakes that I found in them. And the last one will be a complete makeover of the drawing because I just like to do it. Maybe you will get a lot of nice tips and information from it, so I hope you will like it. Alright, so into the advice and correcting. The first one is from Yelish. Ayelish? Ayelish? Yelish. I'll just see the name on the screen somewhere. So the mistake I saw immediately in this drawing were the eyes. This is a mistake that a lot of people make and I hope that this advice will save at least some of you from making this exact mistake because I hate this mistake. When you look like this, you know, from one third perspective, or like this, my eye isn't um, suddenly smaller. You know, I don't, I don't look like this. You know, it's not how it works. I decided to just make this eye a little bit bigger, so it looks more human and more symmetrical. Here you can see the old and the new one. It's not a big, uh, big change, but you can see immediately that this one just looks so much more. I don't know, like from a more skilled artist, you know. Just it's nicer for the eye to see some more human face right here. In most part, it's just a good drawing. Just the, the eye was a little bit hurting my my eyes. All right, so moving to the next one. This drawing is from December art. No, wait, December art, anyways. At the first sight, you can see that there is something wrong with the anatomy. I thought like, is her head missing a little bit? And maybe some other things. I didn't know for sure. So what I did, what you should do too, is flipping the drawing and you can immediately see what kind of a monster you created. It's not only for this artist, for everyone. I create monsters like every day. I have to flip the drawing horizontally so you can see all those weird mistakes that your brain just doesn't see when it's not flipped. And right now, when you see all those mistakes, I just took my liquify tool and made her heck. Heck, I made her head a little bit fuller so it's not missing anymore. The other thing that I saw was the eyebrow. It's again a mistake with this this profile kind of in this position. You know, when I do like this, I don't think that you can see the whole eyebrow right here. Like, like this, you can see the tail of my eyebrow. But like this, not really, right? I hope I'm not wrong. I just took my sketchy line art brush from my sketchy brush set. You can buy my brushes in the, on my website. The link will be in the description. I took my sketchy line art brush and I just drew a little bit um, extra eyebrow so it will be thick on the whole length of this eyebrow at the side. 
at the uh, edge. So that looked better. But I thought I was done, but something was still bothering me. It was the shoulders. I know your art can be st stylized, but I can't really see a lot of stylization. In this drawing, it looks like it was supposed to be pretty realistic. So if you're drawing realistic drawing, kind of, then you should also do proportionate shoulders because otherwise it just, yeah, it just doesn't look good, you know? So I took the liquify tool and I just made the shoulders a little, a little bit broader, broader, bigger, longer, I don't know. The last thing was that the little thing here happening on her, on her neck. You can see it's the, the shading here. It's not this contrasted. When you look at her face, the shadows are not that detailed. So don't suddenly think like, all right, I'm going to create a really, really detailed part on her neck. I don't know why, but I'll just do it. Just leave it out. If it's difficult for you, leave it out in the drawing. Or, or take a reference or just leave it out completely. As you can see in this drawing, there is a lot of proportions missing. And right here, I was only maybe 10 minutes busy maybe not even maybe five minutes and i was already um getting more nice for the eye result right here so proportions flip the drawing horizontally and yeah the shadow don't don't make the shadow so 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 weird right here well moving to the next one the next one is from a mini in this drawing i almost had nothing to bitch about yeah, only a few things though, because the proportions are, are pretty good. But the only proportion that was not so good was the ear. I liquefied it a little bit and I'm sorry because I missed the first part of correcting this, this drawing. So yeah, I'm sorry for that. But the thing is, I want this artist and you, if you make the same mistakes, to remember are... Oh my god, oh, my legs are sleeping. Oh my god. Oh, it was not a good idea to sit on my legs. Right, so number one is use the same shadow color everywhere. You can change it a little bit depending on what kind of thing is close to it. Like when I have a blue shirt, then the blueness will reflect a little bit on my skin, like slightly, you know. But when I have a shadow right here, then the shadow right here will probably be the same color. So you use a really, really different shadows everywhere. Like this shadow was really dark, that shadow on under her neck and right here didn't look as dark. So I changed that and it looked kind of better, although I didn't really like the color that you chose. If you use the same color for the shadings, your drawing will just look more whole. If you want your drawing to have texture, you need to be smart about it because you can really easily make it look dirty. Right here, I'll show you precisely how you can give your drawing a texture without making it look dirty. What I do all, always and what I recommend you to do, if you want texture, first look at the whole area, color it in, um, shade it just without the texture and add the texture later it's way easier believe me so you can first focus on the good colors good shadings good shape 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 good shapes of shadings and everything and then you can focus on texture and the last thing is to try to no not the last thing almost last thing is try to experiment with dynamic because this drawing is pretty boring and what you can do although it's not it can be really interesting just a profile side profile of someone it can be really really incredibly interesting but what you can do is using some more dynamic you just drew face some hair completely down and this material on her neck was also not really even some interesting shape so what i did as you can see i just added some nice dynamic to that material. I added some extra hairs 
and it immediately looked a little bit better. Would you agree? And the last thing yes is just to add some more color. I didn't do it because I'll do it in the, another drawing to show you really well how much it changes in a drawing. But I would recommend you to use some more saturation. I have a video about how to choose the right colors. So click here for some nice advice about choosing the right colors for your drawing. All right, going to the next one. This one is from Victoria Mazur. I know I have really incredibly Polish accent with this one because the last name of hers just sounds so Polish. So this Victoria Mazur drawing is really nice. I really like it. I really love the way you added atmosphere in your drawing with this warm lightning. I really like it. And I think you are really good artists overall. There are some things. As usual, the anatomy. The first thing I did is flipping the drawing horizontally and I saw the mistakes. I already thought a little bit they could be the reason it doesn't look proportionate, which was the eyes and the arm. The eyes, I think that the artist's intention was to create more exotic eyes, so I didn't bring um, this one down, I brought this one up, so they are more symmetrical. And the other thing was the arm, and here I was um, not really able to do it with liquify tool, so I had to draw some extra things just with my hand. So yeah, it comes back to just searching up some references and my correction is definitely not perfect because I didn't really take a lot of time to correct it. But you can see that a little bit, a little, little bit of looking at the reference makes it instantly better. Like when I look at the corrected drawing and the not corrected drawing, I can immediately say that this one just it's just nicer for the eye to look at. Because here, here you can see that the person that didn't really bother to make the arm look good. So do this, use references, and if you can't find the perfect reference, just make a picture of yourself. All right, so the last one, the most interesting one, is from White Card Art, which I really love. I love this drawing, really. Only there are a few things I really wanted to change, and I at the end, I ended up changing really almost the whole drawing. But don't mind me, your drawing was really good the way it was. Um, and you asked me for one thing that was missing in your drawing. Although it was more than one thing, but there is definitely one that changes the most in your drawing. Like the you asked about the wow factor. And the wow factor that you were missing the most is the colors. Your colors are really blonde and not contrasted, not saturated. And this is the last step I will do in correcting your drawing. So first I'll change some technical, like some little issues. And at the end, you will see how much the saturation changes in the drawing. So first thing I wanted to point out is that the skin looks dirty. And I was comparing some of the colors and I realized that on the forehead, the color was different on the chin, the color was also completely different, way darker and everything. So I made everything the same color. I completely deleted every, almost every shading you made and everything was one color. So that's definitely the base you should make. And one little tip, when you are drawing from a reference and you are picking up the colors from the reference with the color pick tool. Remember that, draw, that the pictures are really tricky and you won't probably get the exact color like on the picture because they are so pixelated that every mini, 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 millimeter apart you can get completely different, different pixel colors. So just don't just pick up the colors from the reference picture 
you can first or blend it out so you can so you get one one smooth color that will be more accurate or just try to get the color from looking at it don't just pick up the colors from the reference picture and you are using also way too much grayish colors so that's another thing there were again some anatomy problems so again you too have to flip your drawing horizontally and check the freaking mistakes and you can liquefy them although the whole point of me liquefying your drawing is not to make you draw whatever and on the final step just will liquefy so it looks good you need to make a good base good sketch that will be anatomically correct and then maybe at the end you'd use the liquify tool because if you only will rely on the liquify tool you will not learn a lot but it can be used sometimes you know just don't rely on it too much two two things that i would recommend you to do is flipping your drawing horizontally as everyone in this video and two First, focus on the big areas, shade the big areas, so you don't create like this too detailed but also dirty kind of um, look in your drawing. You can see everything I did in this video anyway, so I hope you understand. And the last and the most important for you in this case is adding some color. I just added some layers on the top. I was just experimenting a little bit, like some blue, some orange reddish kind of contrast and it was so much better like that's the depth that you need in your drawing like the, the water was more blue the uh, cheeks were more red and if you have one color that is contrasting with the other color you need to have it coming back somewhere in the drawing so I used the same color I added it a little bit on the eyebrows on the hair on the cheeks and on the lips so the whole drawing comes together again Yeah, um, I think that we are done for this video. I want you all to know that uh, you don't have the permission to feel bad about my advice. Everyone will be bad at something, or at least not the best at something at some point. So don't feel bad. I am proud of you all that you are trying to improve and ask me to help you out. I really am. So. Remember to keep improving, keep drawing, don't give up, and I'm proud of you. I'll see you in the next one. Remember to give this video a thumbs up if you want to be included in the next video. Um, and subscribe to my channel if you want to see my face once again. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.